Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of M0A.com here. This week, instrument scanning techniques. Here's the video. Let's go ahead and talk about our two methods of scanning our instruments, whether you're doing a VFR simulation or you're actually flying IFR or in the clouds in any conditions. The first is the hub and spoke or wagon wheel method. So think about a wheel. A wheel has a central hub, which will be our attitude indicator. Everything comes back to that central hub. A spoke goes out to check our altimeter. It comes right back to the attitude indicator. We go down to check our heading indicator, back to the attitude indicator, over to our turn coordinator, and back. That is the hub and spoke or wagon wheel method. The other scan technique is known as the T-scan, which scans just the four primary instruments. We go from our airspeed, across to our attitude indicator, across to our altimeter, and then down to our heading indicator. This uses the turn coordinator and the vertical speed indicator a lot less and uses them as a secondary reference. So you just repeat that T process all the way across and then back down. So you have the wagon wheel method, attitude indicator out, back, or the T method, across and then down. Attitude indicator is still your primary instrument in all these scanning techniques. That's all I have for you this week. Be sure to sharpen up on your IFR skills, whether you're a VFR or an instrument rated pilot. You're gonna be so thankful that you did. Remember, a good pilot is always learning. See you guys. You're on Bravo, you're short of Victor Alpha, you're beam the Iberian. The beam Alpha on the left there. Beam Alpha.